Good afternoon. Welcome to the College of Nursing White Coat Ceremony. I am Julie Zerwick, and I am Dean of the College of Nursing. We'd like to make a few announcements before we begin today. Out of respect for our students and guests, please take a moment to silence your cell phones or any other devices you might have. And then for everyone's safety, please refrain from taking photos from the aisle or right in front of the stage. We do have a professional photographer taking pictures of every student. These will be made available for you to download at no cost. The University of Iowa College of Nursing is pleased to recognize our Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Master of Science in Nursing entry into practice students this afternoon. We are delighted that so many families, friends could gather with us for this special event. So joining me in this ceremony today are Emily Ward, who's the Associate Chief Nursing Officer at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Anita Nicholson, College of Nursing Associate Dean for undergraduate programs, Sandy Dack Hirsch, Executive Associate Dean for the college, and along with several staff and faculty. So thank you for attending today. So as we navigated through the uncertainties of the pandemic, one thing remained true. We, as nurses, have been on the forefront, leading the way through unchartered territory. This is what nurses did before us, in the Crimean War, the 1918 flu, the AIDS epidemic, to name just a few eras of uncertainty. And it is undoubtedly what nurses after us will continue to do. As nurse scientists, nurse leaders, healthcare professionals, we are on the forefront every day when we go to work, be it in a hospital, a research lab, or a community health clinic here in Iowa, across the United States, or around the world. This afternoon, we are honored to recognize two groups of future nurse leaders. We recognize our 80 Bachelor of Science in Nursing students and the milestone this event marks on your nursing journey, the beginning of clinical coursework. You've worked hard throughout the past two years to complete your cor prerequisite courses, gain entry into the nursing program, and prepare for this moment. We also recognize our 15 Master of Science in Nursing entry into practice students for whom this event marks a different milestone. You are the first cohort in this brand new accelerated program designed to prepare students who have a degree in a field other than nursing. You may not have initially known that nursing was the field for you, gaining degrees and building careers in other fields, but you have discovered your path and are beginning your journey to a nursing career this afternoon. Regardless of the path taken to get here, we are excited to have each and every one of you joining us at the University of Iowa College of Nursing. You have joined a college with a 125 year tradition of preparing nurse leaders. Now students, remember that because when I come into your classrooms, I often quiz you and 125 years, that's often a question I ask. So you've joined a college with the state-of-the-art facilities, dedicated faculty and staff who want nothing more than to see each and every one of you succeed. And you joined a college with endless learning experiences. So during your programs, you will have the opportunity to learn from faculty who are nationally recognized experts in their fields, and they work at renowned academic health centers. Through a combination of didactic, simulated, and clinical learning experiences, you will learn to practice with diverse populations across the lifespan, focusing on the four spheres of care, promotion of health, 
well-being and disease prevention, chronic disease care, regenerative or restorative care, and hospice, palliative, and supportive care. You will gain competencies in the increasingly important areas of person-centered care, population health, quality and safety, research, informatics, and leadership. While you are here, you will have the opportunity to stretch who you are as a student and who you are as a person. I encourage you to embrace these opportunities. We are truly honored that you have chosen the University of Iowa College of Nursing for your education, and we look forward to journeying with you along the path to professional nursing. So it's my pleasure now to introduce one of my colleagues who will also include some remarks to you today. Emily Ward is the Associate Chief Nursing Officer at University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. She received her Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Millican University, her Master of Business Administration from the University of Iowa, and is currently in the DNP program at the University of Iowa College of Nursing. She is uh, focusing on health systems. She's a certified executive in nursing practice and is, a certified, and is certified as an acute critical care knowledge professional. Over the course of her career, she has given numerous local, regional, and national presentations on a variety of leadership topics. So among the many awards that she has received, um, I think she would agree a highlight was being named one of the 100 great Iowa nurses. Please join me in welcoming Emily Ward. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. To all of the nursing students sitting here today, I'm honored to be with you during this momentous occasion. I know how exciting this can be for you and your loved ones to be here today. To the parents, family members, significant others, thank you for supporting your student. I know you're aware of how hard they have all worked to get here today and the determination that it took. And I have no doubt that you all contributed to their success. So enjoy this very proud moment. You've all completed a lot of really hard work to get here today. While that work was hard, know that it was worth it because now you have that foundational knowledge to build upon. You're about to transition to the next phase of your nursing journey, the hands-on, fast-paced, high-intensity, critical thinking, exciting phase. I remember getting ready for my first clinical rotation the night before I was so excited I was anxious, but I knew I was ready. I think I had spent four hours at the hospital the night before looking at my patient's charts for the next day. The next day I stepped foot on the nursing unit and I was immediately nervous. I was scared, I was not ready, but I was. I just needed to let the nerves fizzle away, lean on my professors when I needed help and look to my peers for that emotional support to help get through. You too will probably have moments of nervousness and anxiety as you enter your clinical rotations, but that's normal and to be expected. So lean into those feelings, embrace them, and look to your peers and your professors to help support you through those times. When you transition into your first nursing job, you will again most likely experience those feelings of nervousness and anxiety but you will lean on your team members, your fellow nurses, your nursing leaders to help you succeed. You see, nursing is not a standalone game. It's a team sport that requires communication and collaboration. Nursing is a lifelong learning profession. Here I stand almost 16 years into my nursing career, and each and every day I learn something new. As you embark into your clinical rotation, soak in as much knowledge and experience as you can. There is so much to see and do in the world of healthcare. Do not hesitate to get in there and experience it and be a part of it. I recently read a quote from James Clear where he said, the ultimate form of preparation is not planning for a specific scenario, 
but a mindset that can handle uncertainty. This world in which we live is imperfect. For a long time as I was coming up through my nursing career, I was hoping, trying, and planning for perfect circumstances and scenarios. But I've come to realize that that's not really how the world works. Where we add value is really between our reality and that perfect circumstance. It's our mindsets, handling uncertainty and change that gets us there. I tell my teams that change is only painful for the unready, so how do we always be ready? Healthcare is full of change each and every day, so be ready for it. Donning your white coat today symbolizes the transition, one that should be honored and respected. It's an honor and a privilege to be allowed into our patients' lives. Patients and their families will share with you very personal information. They will admit their fears and they will share their vulnerabilities. They will look to you for guidance reassurance, education, and empathy. You will be there through some of the most joyous moments of their lives, and you will be there for some of the saddest and hardest moments of their lives. In all of these experiences, you will be woven into the fabric of their lives. They will remember you and how you comforted them, how you laughed with them, and how you listened to them. And you will remember them too. They will continually remind you of why you do this work. I'd like to share a story with you about a patient that I once cared for, and I'm gonna change the names um, of the individuals to protect their privacy. About 10 years ago, I had the honor of caring for a spry little lady named Rose. Rose was in her 80s and had come to the hospital to have some reoccurring cancer removed from her GI tract. In the operating room, they discovered that the cancer had progressed much too far and the surgery was aborted. So they closed her up and sent her over to the ICU. I was the nurse that admitted Rose to the surgical ICU that day. I met her husband, John, and her two grown sons, Phil and Bob. When Rose woke up from her um, surgery, my team had to share with her and her family that the surgery had been aborted due, the, due to the progressive nature of the cancer. We all had a lengthy discussion about what next steps looked like for Rose. She knew she didn't want a breathing tube and we made sure that that was how it was gonna be going forward. Over the next two days, I continued to care for Rose as she recovered. On the second day, Rose had to be placed on BiPAP to help her get the oxygen that she needed. Despite the extra support the BiPAP was providing, her respiratory status continued to decline. Our ICU team met with Rose and her family again and discussed her failing lungs. Rose said, I just want a few more hours with my boys. So that's what we did. We gave her time with her boys. They laughed, they shared stories, and she giggled behind the BiPAP mask. After about three hours, Rose called me into the room and told me that she was ready. I obtained the medication to make her comfortable. As I approached her bedside, she waved me to come close, and as I leaned down, she wrapped her arms around me and thanked me for taking such great care of her and her boys. Tears ran down my face as I tried to understand how she could be the strongest person in the room right now. Rose passed away fairly quickly after we, after we had removed the oxygen support, surrounded by her loving family. I spent the next several hours with Rose's boys, hugging them, listening to stories about their mom, and expressing my deepest sympathies. I had known Rose and her family for only three days, but their impact on me felt like I had known them for years. I tell you this story to share with you how Rose and her boys made a lasting impression on me and my career. Their story, that memory, reminds me of why I am a nurse and the difference I can and have made in others' lives. As nurses, we not only help people live full and healthy lives, but we also help people die with love, support, and dignity. The American Nurses Association outlines our responsibilities in the Code of Ethics. Let these standards be a guiding light for you as you transition through the nursing profession. Number one, to practice with compassion and respect for the inherent dignity, worth, and unique attributes of every person. 
Two, to have a primary commitment to the patient, whether an individual, family, group, community, or population. Three, to promote, advocate for, and protect the rights, health, and safety of the patient. Four, to have authority, accountability, and responsibility for nursing practice, to make decisions and to take actions consistent with the obligation to promote health and to provide optimal care, to owe the same duties to yourself as to others, including the responsibility to promote health and safety, preserve wholeness of character and integrity, maintain competence, and continue personal and professional growth. Six, to establish, maintain, and improve the ethical environment of the work setting and conditions of employment that are conducive to safe, quality health care through individual and collective efforts. Seven, to advance the profession in all roles and settings through research and scholarly inquiry, professional standards development, and generation of both nursing and health policy. Eight, to collaborate with other health professionals and the public to protect human rights, promote health diplomacy, and reduce health disparities. And finally, number nine, as a member of the nursing profession, to articulate nursing values, to maintain the integrity of the profession, and to integrate principles of social justice into nursing and health policy through involvement in professional organizations. As you care for patients at UI Healthcare locations, recognize that you are in a magnet designated hospital, the highest award that a nursing organization can receive. It represents that we have excellence in transformational and visionary nursing leadership, a structured empowerment framework in which nurses direct their practice, exemplary professional practice with other disciplines, and that we generate new knowledge through the conduct of research and systematic review and implementation of evidence into our practice. We assure that our new graduate nurses are supported throughout the first year of their transition into practice through our accredited nurse residency program. I know you will sense this dedication the minute you come through our doors. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you all the best in your program and look forward to seeing you around our units at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. Thank you. So I think there's many uh, great things about our program, but our relationship with our partners at University of Iowa Hospital and Clinics is one of our greatest strengths. So the students will spend significant number of hours in that institution. And uh, again, I would encourage you to take advantage of all of those opportunities. As nursing has evolved, so have the symbols of our profession. For many years, students received a nursing cap when they completed an introductory training period. The cap was a symbol of commitment to the field and each school had its own style. Today, you receive a different, though no less significant and symbolic identifier as you begin your nursing careers, the white coat. The white coat signifies that you are a healthcare professional who is committed to caring, compassionate service to humankind. Inherent in the image of the professional white coat are the core values of altruism, excellence, caring, integrity, and respect for human dignity. Those who wear it are called to these professional values and the associated behaviors they present. I would now like to welcome Dr. Anita Nicholson, who will give you directions for the ceremony. Good afternoon. It's wonderful to see everybody that's here. 
So I'm gonna give some instructions to you, the students. You will be dismissed by row. Please stay in alphabetical order as you approach the stage. I will read your name and you will walk across the stage to a white X that's right in the, in the middle towards the front of the stage. And you will be coat, you'll hand your coat to Dr. Dak Hirsch, who will help you in putting on your coat along with Dr. McVeigh. And you'll pause to make sure that you have time for a nice photo to be taken by our photographers. Then you will progress backstage where there will be an opportunity for another photo. You'll be given directions to return back to your seat. So now the fun begins. We are going to start our coding of our Bachelor of Science in Nursing students, as well as our Masters of Science entry into practice students. Alina Amato. Betsy Anderson. <laughs> Eleanor Bannon. Isabel Bailey. <laughs> Kylie Bars. Allison Bouch. <laughs> Haley Berg. Zoe Burton. <laughs> Melanie Bai. <laughs> Anna Cater. Samantha Shavetta. Ingrid Collette. Andrew Corona.
Madeline Kramer. Caitlin Dega. Joanna DeHanda. Autumn Dembski. Kenna DeVore. Haley Dreesen. Elizabeth Eisenminger. Macy Ingle. Sunny Evans. Natalie Bear. Chloe Bain. Madeline Finsanko. <laughs> Hannah Ridley. Christian Gavaretti. <laughs> Emma Guile. Elizabeth Gillis. Kara Goodman. Mary Claire Greer. <laughs> Ashley Hamesser.
Natalie Henney. Carly Herrera. Flora Huang. Haley Jarrett. Caitlin Johnson. <laughs> Nicholas Kaspauer. Madeline Kent. <laughs> Kylie Laudner. Alexandra Los. <laughs> Giselle Lozano Delgado. Kala Luzak. <laughs> Zoe Lucan. Lily Mahan. <laughs> Madeline Mahokin, excuse me, Macopin. Jolyn McCauley. Harley McClure. Marissa Michael. Chloe Machuda. <laughs> Catherine Miller. Claire Mooney. <laughs> A 
as, excuse me, Elizabeth Nodia. Marissa Metertes. Madison Murray. Juan Carlos Nino. Bridget Nolan. Haley Olson. Jason O'Neill. <laughs> Mallory Owens. Aishani Patel. <laughs> Alexa Paternitti. Desiree Patswald. <laughs> Kiana Peterson. Garrett Pintock. <laughs> Natalie Poppy. Greta Ransom. <laughs> Beth Richards. Jerry Ann Richardson. <laughs> McKenna Schmiedial.
Sophie Schuster. Reagan Skovgard. Claire Stolfus. Adrian Swanson. Olivia Tyler. Brooklyn Vandervelde. Mary Claire Voris. Abigail Warner. Shan Yang. Angela Zane. <laughs> Olivia Shepherd. Hope Bittner. <laughs> Tavia Dreismeyer. Mara Jensen. Anna Miller. Whitney Leverage Feitzman. <laughs> Samuel Piper. Yeah! Samantha Reese.
Sophia Ripertella. Stephanie Sandoval. <laughs> Jennifer Scott. Catherine Sweeney. Anna Barley. Delaney Ward. <laughs> Riley Whitaker. Dean Zerwick, I invite you to the stage for closing remarks. We'll just, we'll just wait a minute until to make sure that everyone's back in their seats. Maybe someone can give me a signal. signal. I love it when we uh, hear all of this great applause and especially the celebrations for some of our individual students, um, but I think this is time to give them a great big collective applause. So as this white coat ceremony draws to a close and you set off to pursue your professional nursing education, you are poised to acquire the essential competencies needed to provide compassionate quality care that is patient-centered, evidence-based, and leads to improved health outcomes. We are so proud to be a part of your journey and look forward to the next two years with you. Thank you all for being with us for this important milestone and to celebrate these future nurses. Congratulations and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you.